All right, all right, all right. It's Jared here from Crypto Plan. How is everyone going? Hope everyone's doing well. We're going to look at Harmony One today. But before we do, please like and subscribe the video because uh, I guess me asking you to help me by sharing this content, liking and subscribing has helped my channel because we have reached a thousand subscribers. And before we get into the Harmony One charts, I just want to say a big thank you to my audience, which is 37% of you in the United States. Hello, welcome. The next biggest is in the United Kingdom and in Australia. Hello to Australians. I'm in Ireland at the moment. I'm missing and uh, missing the fact that I can socialize and seeing you all socialize and watching games of footy today on the AFL app, watching me local team West Coast Eagles play to a full stadium while we can't even meet with several people at a barbecue, which is quite crazy, but uh, it's, it's worlds apart, but yeah, well done to everyone that's uh, been buying Harmony One in Australia and uh, being able to go out and enjoy their profits maybe. Uh, Canada, hello to Canada, the Netherlands, Poland, hello to the Philippines, hello to Germany, hello to India. I've actually been to India in the past, so hello to India. And Ireland, obviously, glad it's a couple of Irish uh, viewers considering I'm broadcasting here from Ireland on the west coast of Ireland, Indonesia, Spain, France. So there's quite a, a spread out uh, cross section of listeners and viewers, or even though it's a small sample all the way down there. Singapore, Turkey, Norway, Italy, Romania, Singapore, United Arab Emirates, Switzerland, Nigeria, Russia, South Africa, Austria, Sweden, Thailand, Greece, Mexico, New Zealand, Slovenia, Finland, Vietnam, Pakistan, Portugal, Denmark, Colombia, Chet Chechia, excuse me, I just butchered that name, Croatia and Saudi Arabia. Thank you all for helping me get to a thousand subscribers. Um... I'm going to try and keep providing that content. I've been dying to do the content. And uh, do you know what today is Mark's event? Well, yesterday on this chart, but I guess it's still the 21st today, is Harmony Day. So Harmony Day, the chart gave us a good green candle on Harmony Day. And it has done exactly what I expected it to. It's done exactly what I predicted it would do. Based on this consolidation, it made a move up to 16 cents, which was like a full extension from that consolidation. And I just wanted to say that, yeah, like it's it's good to see this chart continuing to be bullish uh, and following all the all the rules <laughs> as far as like, you know, Fibonacci extensions go and stuff like that. So, you know, you can see here that put a Fibonacci extension on that particular consolidation there, 4.236. Wasn't fully reached out to, but I'm using kind of wicks there. If I kind of pull down to bodies and do that, uh, that kind of action there, that's where we're seeing is that just tapping off that, uh, 18 cent level and pulling back and spending a fair bit of time around 16 cents there, which was kind of my conservative target. I always try and make conservative targets because I don't uh, like to try and if you were doing a trade and to try and grab that 18.7 cents and especially because it, it, you could be trading on a different exchange, you might miss that trade. So always kind of set a bit more of a conservative uh, sell target and then maybe a stink bid a little bit higher. Uh, but yeah, as as predicted, uh, about 16 cents, we're going to do a little bit of consolidation again. You know, as you can see, large consolidation, leg up, like a thinner consolidation, and then that kind of next move really launched out of there. I can kind of see one of these sort of consolidations happening again. If we break this kind of steeper uptrend line here, we could retest back down to this last trend line here, which, you know, would maybe offer up the 11 cents again. Uh, if it consolidates for a while, then does a dip, you know, it might be 12 cents or something like that. But either way, I think we're going to go sideways here for a little bit. Um, there is a chance that we continue to go up, but I think for, for us to make that next move to 44, uh, we need to do a little bit of sideways action. And that is only based on the fact that I've, I'm 
working on the 44 being a repeat of a measured move from all the way down here all the way up there so you can see uh, we kind of have done a a run and a pullback a run and a pullback a big run and a consolidation cup and kind of handle thing and then a big burst another cup and then a big burst right so if if we're saying that this particular flag here was something like this then you know then we've kind of got the the burst up and that's kind of what we're doing now we'll probably reach out there then kind of do another bigger cup where we kind of maybe spend a bit of time going tupping around to 14 cents and then finally do a bing bang bong all the way out of there up to 44 um hopefully sooner than later but um 44 is the next target it always has been and then I think beyond that to double again into you know towards a dollar a dollar 20 could be that that parabolic top that I'm banking on I know there's people out there that are wanting it to go to three dollars they're wanting it to go to five dollars and it it seems great you know I've got a hundred thousand of these things if it goes to 10 I've got 10 million or whatever you know whatever the mass is just be cautious of needing it to go somewhere um, you don't want to be on the other side of the trade where you know the parabolic part of the alt season's over you're on the other side you're into the retracement and you know the beginning of a bear market and it's a lot harder to get rid of those tokens there or you end up just selling a month later at the price that you should have sold at on the way up um, so yeah, just be cautious. Uh, you know, for me, a dollar is a good target for, for what I have. You know, I'm happy, you know, if, if I've got two or 3000 times my money, that's a brilliant gain. So don't be too greedy. Uh, you know, always take some profits and always take some risk off the table. But in general, we're looking good. Uh, the chart is bullish. It's doing all the right things. Like I say, volume is solid you know, good solid green volume. But, you know, there's always that chance because a lot of traders are seeing these things and they're seeing these accumulations and they, they might have bought in in this range and they're predicting that it will go up here. That might be their short-term trade take profit mark, you know. So you've got to remember that not everyone's a long-term bull in these markets and there is profit-taking events that happen um, once Fibonacci targets are reached. And you can see uh, right there, based on this particular candle um, that because there's such a large wick that is the perfect example of people having uh, limit orders or you know take profit or orders all the way up there and probably down to you know 16 and a half cents so this says to me that you know people were predicting that this thing would go to 16 to 18 cents or 19 cents and some people got the very top and then it just, as soon as it got there, it was sell, 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 sell. And then at that point, people went, oh, it's ran a little bit. Maybe I'll buy in again. Um, so it kind of consolidated there around the 16 and it, it will probably keep doing that. Some kind of deeper selling there, but the fact that it bounced back on that last four hour candle. So, you know, it went as deep as 15, but the fact that it got back to 16 again fairly solidly means that people are happy to be buying it at 15. You know, they're seeing um, that that's a good entry point. So, uh, like I say, 16 is, is going to be a little bit of a sideways zone. Um, so we're probably looking now at building a range. So, uh, you know, let's, let's kind of start here and say, well, there's the beginning of our range there's the beginning of our range and maybe if we just just be ready for the fact that we're probably going to range in between 19 cents and 15 cents for the next few four hour candles and just see what happens now if we see a break and a close above this then we're probably going to go up a bit if we see a break and a close below this we could potentially see a lower back test but you can see here that if there is any larger back tests or large selling events, you know, people switching assets or whatever, you know, like freak events, uh, it's got the, the, the buyers are going to come in and that's going to be soaked up again, you know, so it'll only be kind of wick action that goes down there. Um, and you can see that in the past, like th this, this particular asset does not have large wicks, you know, there's the odd large wick, but they're always into kind of zones where the buyers come in and soak it up 
where there is a lot of wicks is always to the upside, which is those price indicators, you know. So it's telling us there it wants to be at 19. It's just going to take a little while for it to get there and then close above 19. Um, you can see it was the same thing here where big wick to the upside, telling us it wanted to be 5.3 cents, took a while to kind of roam around here, try it again to get up there, roamed around here, and then it worked its way out of there. So if we base it on this kind of period, uh, what are we looking at? Five days, you know, so we could, could spend about five days uh, in this kind of zone accumulating and maybe do a little bit of a cup and then maybe getting up to there, testing, pulling back and then firing on out there. Um, but I think this this particular project, Harmony, is getting more traction. You know, there's uh, a couple of large YouTubers doing videos on it. If it does get put on Coinbase, or maybe it's already on Coinbase, I'm not sure, starts to push its way up into the top 100 on CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko, starts to get seen. You know, and then people are still looking at this thing going, it's a, it's a 16 cent coin. People that don't look at tokenomics, people that look at just price, they go, oh, I'll buy a 16 cent coin because I can still buy a ton of them, you know. So that's, that's, that's where we're at, you know, and that's where you can see these doubling effects very quickly at the very parabolic end of it. So um, even though it's been fairly quick in the last month or so, you know, you can see this thing go a lot quicker. Um, just want to jump over to the this other chart. My, it's my weekly chart, but still on the daily because there's not enough data. Um, another reason why I think we're going to go sideways is because we've got this previous um, resistance on the 30-day moving average. So uh, back in February, the February 12th, 14th and 15th, um, we saw uh, the 30, the distance from the 30-day moving average be about 134%. Uh, so, and then it pulled back. We just broke above that, so we're slightly more bullish than that. We got up to 211%. But you can see it's pulled back. So I could predict that it wants to kind of, just wants to kind of edge towards its 30-day uh, moving average a little bit. Let that catch up. It just wants to let it catch up before it fires away because if it starts getting too far away from that third day moving average, we're going to see a larger correction. So I think it'll it'll kind of do something like this where it, it'll hover around this 200% from the 30 day moving average, pull back a bit down here, accumulate, accumulate, accumulate maybe go a little bit more sideways and then bang it'll it'll work its way up and then maybe the next 30 day moving average distance will be up in the 275s or something like that so um yeah that that's another thing that kind of just tells me to be cautious and um be aware you know be prepared for a bit of correction a bit of kind of a few scary dips a few kind of things i've had some people in the comments you know asking about other assets where they're like oh is this a crash it's like um a crash would, you know, in crypto, I think it would have to drop more than 50%, uh, you know, and and stay below 50% and be going down. You know, I think having a 50% retracement from a really big move, you know, so if we look at, uh, if we look at this kind of price action here and where 50% would take us, um, 50% would take us to $0.09. Cents. So, you know, yeah, if we were heading back to $0.07, cents, yeah, you could call that a crash, but you could also say that is a, is a huge sale as well. So um, sometimes it's very easy to kind of look at your chart or look at the price action on a particular day and go, oh, it's down 10 or 15%, but you've got to f remember that over the last four days it went up 100%. Um, so really, uh, is that that bad? You know, it's just kind of a bit of a cooling off period. It's all about these key levels, right? If it break, if it broke seven cents, I'd be worried because it's like that. That to me is a key support level. You know, it proved that it built a base there. Then the next level here would be kind of three, three and a half cents. If it broke that, I'd be worried because that was a key uh, resistance and support level on several occasions and then further down if you know if it broke two cents i'd be like whoa this thing is definitely crashing um but i'd say by then you may have uh <laughs> developed some paper hands and sold out 
um, at this stage. So I think, yeah, I think we're safe. We're safe down to 10 cents. Um, Seven cents would be that borderline. Is this buy the dip and, you know, be super, super aggressive and top up the bags and take that risk? Or is that a just sit on the sidelines and close my eyes? Um, so yeah, that's, that's up to yourselves, but just be prepared that these things can happen. It is crypto, big retracements happen, you know, crazy news comes out or something like that or whatever. Uh, so yeah, but Harmony One is on the right track and that's all we need to know. Um, this video is getting long. I'm just going to jump over to the, the game credits chart because I don't really have the energy to be covering that in a full video and, they don't really get as many likes as these Harmony One videos. So I'm just going to cover game credits for the people that uh, follow it also, as well as Harmony One. Uh, we have had the perfect breakout of that range, haven't we? Um, I did the video the other day, 16 cents was or 15 and a half cents was this clear kind of range breakout that I wanted. An attempt there, an attempt there, an attempt there, an attempt there. And then finally we broke out. Once again, you know, you can see thing went up super bullish 39 cents pulled back gives you a little bit of a scare that was probably just a buy the dip opportunity um, goes back up again and is kind of finding some resistance around 35 and then bang breaks out of it straight away so if we go to the daily um, and we look at the previous day's candle close and i'll just draw a line on that and see where that's at uh, so it's well above any of these this zone and i think we need to close a day on this chart anyway above 26. so if we close today above 26 27 that's when we're going to see some larger moves right and the beautiful thing is that um yesterday we closed well above that and today we are moving on upwards so as long as uh, we don't see any major correction below 22 and then moving to the weekly chart the same deal again maybe pull that up a bit and just say we want to close the week above 27 28 if we close the week above 28 we're super bullish and we're probably starting to push this 190 level because what, what I'm seeing is that this was a huge selling event in the last bear market um, down to, you know, from from $1.90 down to looks 14 cents was a huge event. Um, and that, you know, on, on the on the exit, on the way out of that, on the way out of this kind of cup or this bear trend, these moves are going to be large and you can see that there's these large candles after months and years of consolidation of like tight ranges and then bang so um, that's why i've kind of got this range here where it could kind of test the top edge of this at any point the further along you know so if it takes if it's next week it tests there it's like 97 cents if it's the week after it's like a dollar 20 if it's the week after it's dollar 40 and then all the way over to the week of first week of June, last week of May, if it tests it, then that's where we're looking at the dollar eighty, dollar ninety level. Uh, so yeah, hopefully we just kind of grind our way up, and we're not too scary where we're tapping up, pulling back, and then tapping up again. That we can just work our way along this trend line, uh, this support trend line over here, rather than kind of tapping on that resistance line up there. So that's game credit, super bullish. I am looking for anywhere between 90 and $1.80 in the next wee while. Volume's good. Um, all the indicators are looking good. Uh, and I guess if we just go over here to our uh, distance from moving average kind of indicator. And we might go to the 30 week moving average just to show you uh show you how far away like if we call that peak there the 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 line in the sand so we've got a 629 percent from our 30 week moving average um at the peak of this particular chart uh in the mid mid cycle bull run and then uh because it, it was it did a second like little dip up uh that, that won't show too much craziness there, but so that, that's kind of our mark in the sand that 
as long as we're nowhere near 636, we're not going to have any huge corrections. So I guess we could expect that the these these distance from 30 week moving average candles will start to get larger and accumulate a little bit of a pattern like this or maybe a pattern like this pull back and then create another pattern like this that really pushes this 630 to 650% from its 30 week moving average and then we're looking like we're heading towards the end of its bull run uh, that's what we want to see um and other than that, I'm still waiting on Reef and Cake to break out. So they are just doing that thing, just doing that accumulation thing. Um, you know, for me, that's the cup and Reef has done its handle, doing its handle, sideways weird handle. But it's still in that range. It's still in that kind of buy accumulation zone. And you can see how tight it's getting there. So unless this thing is going to get super bearish and, and tip over on itself and be the only altcoin to go down when everyone other ones going up, there's going to be a large um, push to the upside there uh, when it decides to break out. And the same with cake. I think once again, we've got, if we go to the daily, um, we've got, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven or so days left before uh, this thing really needs to decide whether it wants to break out of this triangle packet pattern and become exactly like Hathor Networks did and, you know, give us a 300% over a couple of days move and then, you know, just get super bullish and keep firing out of there. So cake is another one that I'm waiting, to, waiting and watching and hoping that it goes on up. That is that. This one's been a bit longer. Once again, thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the comments. I'm loving the feedback at the moment. And um, thanks again for getting us to a thousand subscribers. It means so much to me. Uh, and I hope to keep providing a lot more videos of this price action to you over the coming month months. Bye for now. I've been Jared from Crypto Plants. See you later.